Okay. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I don't know why my screen was turned that way, but it's okay. Okay, there we go. Woo. All right, we are good. We are good to go. Let me share and then we gonna get started. <laughs> Crafting for a pair of things. So, okay, I'm on here. Nisi Harmon here of what she creating and today we will be doing stamped painting um, it's gonna be an awesome thing we have some basic supplies you can make some really cool items um, I do have my um, my iPad here just in case anyone wants to ask me a question or anything like that hopefully I will be able to see it but I'm still learning um, live so <laughs> it is what it is right so uh let me show you some of the things that we created last session as well as some things i've done in my personal time so we we took a basic potato paint as paint as well as some other materials and i created a gift wrap um design that I can use for gift wrap but then before the video started I was like you know what I should make something really cool and so I took the gift wrap and I actually made a DIY envelope and I thought this was so cool because it's so um, pastel springish as well as kind of Easterish if you celebrate that so we made that and then I made um, just another envelope just because I thought it was cool. And this is made straight from copy paper. So this is so cool. So um, a little bit about me. Do lots of crafty, crafty things. I teach a lot of crafty classes. And so I just started, let me just start teaching online. Since you got to stay at home, you don't have to be bored. You can do all type of cool stuff with basic supplies, okay? So that's where I am. So um, let me check one more thing and then we will get started with our project yep i hear myself talking okay so um first thing let me tell you about the supplies that you need you'll need some basic markers now i have sharpies here but you can use whatever type of marker marker that you want you, you'll need a knife as well as a potato um paint um I'm using an acrylic paint, but you just need a thicker type of paint as well as either um, copy paper. I have different types of paper. Copy paper. And then I have um, my butcher paper. So I'm going to do my project on butcher paper just because I have a little extra of it. If you do not have that, you can also use fabric. Um, that It works well on that too. So you may need some paper towels as well as some cups. So, yeah. Now, um, the reason that I started doing this online is because I've been wanting to go into the community and do things, but you know, at this point, not able to necessarily do that, but I can bring it to you online. So let's get started. Um, let's see. First thing we need to do is, I did not bring my plastic lid. I 
just realized that you need some type of lid. So since I do not have that, I'm gonna go ahead and use white paper. So I'll take my white paper here and um, I have my potato here. And what I'm going to do is take my knife and usually I wouldn't do this on paper, but I'm gonna do it on paper today because I do not have my cutting board, but I'm going to cut the potato in the shape in which I want um, to be on my paper. Now, this is a circle and that is what I use to create this design. However, I think this time I'm gonna do uh, more of a, uh, I'm gonna half it and I'm gonna do a half circle. So this is what my shape is going to look like, just this part. Now you could use this part of the potato and do like a long shape, but it's really up to you how you, you know, whatever shape you desire to, to have, okay? Now let me look at my notes and see if I am forgetting anything to tell you all. Um, well, one thing, if you, when you do this project, take a picture and tag us on your Instagram or Facebook page and what you're creating so that we can see what you're making, okay? So, here we go. I'm gonna pick the color of choice today and I think I'm gonna use a green and I'm gonna move it over here so it doesn't get on my butcher paper. So, you could use a lid, but I'm just gonna use a piece of scrap paper for my dipping. So I'll put my paint on here and you know what, I'm going to cut my music on because, you know, you can't just craft without music. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some music on so we can jam out and have a good time. Did my music cut on? Okay, there we go. So I'm going to get my music here. Y'all can jam with me. Hopefully y'all can hear it. Well, I can't do that in this at the same time. So, all right, so I'm gonna take my potato here and I'm going to put it in my mixture, slush it around like this until it's coated, okay? And then I'm going to place it in different parts of the butcher paper as I please. And it looks like I didn't put enough paint on there, but it kind of looks like an orange wedge, and that could be really cool. So, I think what I'm going to do is just do lots of wedges. Just like this. Tell a friend to tell a friend to come log on and crack with us. We have lots of fun doing lots of cool things. So this is just one of the many projects. I'm going to take my paper towel here. So I'm, I'm done with my green. I'll just wipe it off. Okay, and I think I'm going to do orange because it reminds me of orange slices. So I'll take my orange and we'll swirl it around. Who thought you could make a stamp out of a potato? What a wonderful idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep stamping it. What type of creative things are you making? You can let me know by, by adding some uh, commentary. In the comments, I'll see your um, what type of things are you making at home? I just finished sewing some masks um, for some hospital uh, workers. And so that's some of the things I've been creating. But what have you been creating lately? Did you know that our company name is called What's She Creating? You may wonder, 
why did you name it that? Well, I named it that because I'm always creating stuff and no one ever knows what I'm about to come out with. So, hence the name is what she creating because you never know. I'm always going to keep you guessing. And then, bam, just come out with something nice. So, this is looking really good. I really, really, really like this. Oh, my goodness. Who would have thought that this is such a potato? This is a potato. And it's coming out fast. I think this time I'm gonna do the, the the images a bit closer together because when you make different things out of it and closer together, then you can really see it and it looks really good. So I think I'm finished with the green, the green as well as the orange. So I'm gonna wipe that off. And I'm going to choose what color should I choose next? You could put it in the comments. But I don't see any comments left yet, so I will choose the color. Let's see. Hmm, I have a yellow here as well as a purple, but I think I'm going to go with yellow. So I'm going to use this yellow. If you only want to do one color, that's fine, too. So put that yellow one there, splack out, and we're going to roll it around in here. And we'll put a few yellows in here. Now, if you didn't want to make a wedge shape or a circle shape, I've done square. So this one was a square, or this looks more like a rectangle. So this is a rectangular shape. So the possibilities are endless. It's all how you, if you know how to cut it <laughs> to the right shape. So I'm excited about this show and going to continue to bring you great programming. Um, our goal is to do one project a week, but we'll do it in two different sessions. And um, it's going to be great. So we'll have classes on Saturdays around 1.30 and then on Tuesdays at 1.30. That is the that's the goal here. And this is looking fab. I know that you can see it, but I'm going to go ahead and hold it up. Doesn't it look so sprite? Sprite like? <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this one off. I'm just wiping it doesn't um, transfer the colors don't don't transfer so that's a good thing and let's see what other color should we use or should we do anything else uh, I don't think so I think I like this so let me tell you a quick trick if you want to um, dry this very quick a quick trick let me tell you a quick trick so I have my hair dryer here, and what I'll do is this is a way to cheat. I'm gonna cut it on low as well as on cold. You want to keep doing this, and that's the way that you can get. That's the way that you can get the um, get it to dry quicker. However, um, it doesn't like to dry that quick right now. But I've done it in the past, and it has dried quicker. So uh, let me show you some other things that I've created uh, with this same project, the same stamp project. So I took two pieces of fabric, and I actually will sew these together and create a zipper clutch or a zipper makeup purse so if you know how to sew this would be a great diy gift idea you can maybe find a canvas um, or a thicker type of material and do it and there you go you got a diy gift or you know you can sell it but 
you just want to gift it, then you know that's cool too. I'm going to put this to the side for a second because I just had an idea and I'm going to actually do my slices on a piece of copy paper because I feel like I need to do something really cool with this copy paper that's sitting right beside me. So while that dries, I'm going to go ahead and start this. But I guess my question to you is, how's your project going? Are you working with me? Or are you just watching and you're going to do it later? Because that's fine too. Um, I think that children would love this. Just think about it. You could do this with um, your, say you got a one-year-old, you could paint their hands, have them do that, or help them stamp it down. And, you know, they have their own little project to frame it and make it something amazing. I'm giving you all these ideas. I know somebody that used these ideas. <laughs> so, so there you go. So I'm just gonna make a second one. Let me get my, my paper towel here. Now, like I told you before, you could use this side of the potato. You could use the round part of the potato. So it's really up to you um, how you're going to design your thing. My goal is for my for the people that my viewers to have their stuff ready when it's craft time and they're doing this project with me and they are having so much fun. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So, and I don't know, you don't know me well, but I get excited about crafts. I get so excited, especially when I see it turn into something Cool. I'm just like, man, this is so awesome. So, one time I went to a crafts class. I went to the Pinners Conference. Um, they have them in different states. And that is such a cool conference to go to, might, might I add. But, um, man, I was so hyped in that class. And the lady, the teacher, was just as, she was just as hyped as I was. And I just felt like I was a kid. Like, I was like, what? You know, I was just screaming, and <laughs> I know the people in the class is like, oh my gosh, that girl is doing way too much, but like, the lady, I already knew what it was going to be. Okay, I don't have any more room for anything else, so I'm going to need to stop. Okay, well, I found some room, so I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so, here we go. This is looking nice. So here is my second one. Now, if you look here, I have some really wet spots. The paint was a bit too thick, so I'm gonna have to let it, you know, dry a little bit, and then I can print it. So this one has dried a, just a slightly, slightly, and I'm going to take my marker, and I think I'm gonna do little dots in the center of each one. Um, Let's see what this looks like. Yeah. I'm going to just do three dots in the center. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them, but I might as well do all of them. So you can decide and do how, do whatever feels natural to you. Just make it work for you. And I wish I had my music, but I had to put my device, my other device in here. So that I can um, jam out with you guys. Because it says all I hear is the air conditioning or the heat. No, the heat's running. So, and it's rainy outside. But even though it's rainy outside, we have fun in here. So. All right, so I'm making these dots here, trying not to skip any. And I'm putting my marker on some wet spots, but I don't care. <laughs> now, are you a part of a craft group? If not, you should check out some really cool craft groups on like Facebook. 
They do lots, lots of inspiration on there. If you just type in craft, I'm sure you'll come up with some cool things. You could inbox me or, or leave it in the comments. I can leave you some groups that I'm in and some of the things that motivate me. So here is my my cool wrap or my cool design on paper and I'm so excited about it. Yes, I am. I am not excited about cleaning up though, but <laughs> I am excited about this. So I think what I'm going to do is, I don't know if I'm gonna do wrapping paper to wrap like a present, or if I'm going to make another set of envelopes, but it's gonna be awesome. So, uh, let me see. This is my second one. I will finish this one a little later and you'll see what I do with it when I post it on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so connect with us on, uh, subscribe to our page on YouTube, so, um, follow us on Facebook, like us on Facebook at What She Creating, um, like us on YouTube at What She Creating, and um, follow us on Instagram at What She Creating. And don't forget to tag us with a picture of what you are creating. And if you created this project, let us see what you're doing. And um, we'll see you next time. We'll see you on Saturday at 1.30 with a different project. So connect with us so that you can know um, what the project's going to be. And we are so excited that you joined us today. And Nisi Harmon here, what she creating. And I will see you soon. So thanks for watching, everybody.